Sil, 33F, Jealous of Me, 27F. I don't want to make this super long, but I am up, pregnant and peeing every two hours so I thought I would post here before advice. Before I begin though, you must know some history on my Sil, sister-in-law. And basically my brother, 33M, got married to his wife, 33F, in April. My brother has a DUI which I have discussed with the Sil before they got married. It wasn't a secret it just came up in topic and I admitted I knew about it. Somehow she twisted my words and told my brother I had said horrible things about him. Brother told me before his wedding and when I cried and denied it he said, she is jealous and is just a jealous person, you work as a xxxxxx and had an early start on life as well as you were younger than her she said this before. Dot. I was honestly in shock that she would twist my words so much and wasn't even married to him yet. What would the future bring is all I could think of. Nonetheless, I still spoke to her and and recently invited her over and went out of my way wobbling across town to get her these gluten-free desserts due to her diet. I rarely invite her and I thought to myself I'm grown, 27F, and will be having my own family soon and my brother is my family too so I should forge a strong bond with her. Now fast forward to his Reddit post. So I live in a relatively smaller town and was creeping the city subreddit. Someone commented and I saw this familiar alias name so I clicked it and everything pointed to it being my brother. I creeped his posts and found a post he posted under R, marriage. To sum up Sil was mad that I did not tell her the sex of my baby directly. My brother was asking if his wife was in the wrong, to which everyone said yes. Apparently she was furious and completely outraged. It's not like the baby's gender was a secret, I told my brother and immediate relatives while we were at my mom's house visiting. Of course he would then go home and tell his wife. Anyways I'm so sorry for this long post I'm just conflicted as how to ask more than what to do. I also feel sorry for my brother being with someone who constantly makes him feel bad about things he can't change. Talking to him about this isn't an option, at least not right now. I'm in a fabulous journey, mental space in my life right now and plan for it to stay that way. I guess what I'm asking is, should I be distancing myself from the sill? Obviously I'd say hi when greeted and see her at family events. But going out of my way for someone who is jealous of me is quite unsettling. Too long did not read. My brother's wife is jealous of me and makes my brother feel horrible about things he can't change which makes me want to distance myself from her. She is your brother's problem, not yours. Focus on yourself and your bond with your brother. She is divorce able. Smile and be friendly if you want, but stop going out of your way for someone like that. Your brother is a grown man who has made his choice the fact that it's a bad one isn't your problem. Be kind and courteous, but nothing else. The more you give her, the more she'll expect. I'm sorry for your brother, but he's made his choice. All you can do is be supportive of him. Why feel sorry for him? He knew how she was and still chose to marry her. I don't get it. Like someone else said, smile and be friendly. I doubt she will change and I'm sorry you have to deal with this. God damn, I'd be terrified if my sister found my Reddit account. That said, there's not much you can do. Let things run their course with their relationship and you just try to be an awesome sister. I'd keep the girl at a distance, as best as you can. Don't bite into her nonsense. Life is too short to entertain someone who is just a negative influence on the people around her. You don't have to make a big announcement about distancing yourself from her, just slowly fade away. She sounds like a narcissist. Just be polite and friendly at family functions. Don't engage more deeply because she obviously wants to create drama where there is none. She sounds exactly like my sister-in-law. Narcissistic tendencies. She lied constantly and is now in the middle of a divorce and custody battle with my brother-in-law. She is wildly dangerous. Claimed he hit her in order to get a protective order against him so he would not be able to get custody. It's been a nightmare situation. I never believed people could be so evil. This girl showed a long history of jealous behavior and self-victimization. Be careful with her and advise your brother to record conversations with her. I'll echo what others have said. If she's in your presence then be civil, not because she deserves it after the way she's treated you, but because it's your character to treat anyone your brother is in a relationship with politely. But don't go out of your way for her and don't spend any one-on-one -on -one time with her. Protect yourself and let your brother handle his relationship in his own way. If your brother is posting on Reddit about her then he's aware there's a problem and that problem isn't you. The only other thing I want to flag is be aware of signs of abuse. She sounds pretty unpleasant and who knows how far this jealousy is extending. 
Look out for signs that your brother is being isolated and be prepared to lend support, if needed. It takes two people to make any relationship work. Be that lovers or friends. Is she the kind of person you want to be friends with? No. Then don't put in the effort because she is always going to be a brat. Congrats on the baby. Don't deal with her directly at all. But talk to your brother about it right away. Tell him exactly why you don't want to be around her, especially while pregnant. In fact, tell him that you think that her being mad about you not telling her the sex of your baby was the final straw. Don't volunteer the Reddit info, but if he asks tell the truth. I'm sure someone else knows about it in your life and he might just assume it got back to you finally since he already knows he can't keep his wife's bullshit a secret forever. She is toxic. Think of her as a troubled co-worker. Be collegial, but not really friendly. Don't expect to bond, and be extremely wary of her being nice. Lest you say or do something indiscreet that she uses against you. Nope. My sill. I'm married to her brother, and I don't get along personality-wise, I've never been one to fake nice and force friendship. I think she was a bit upset we didn't become fast friends but I cannot stand being with her for extended periods of time. We are friendly and cordial but we aren't friends. This is a completely okay relationship to have with family-in-laws. Keep your distance. I think it's best to distance yourself from her. Be cordial at group events but don't go out of your way to engage her in convo or spend one-on-one -on -one time with her. Also I'd avoid sharing any personal info about your life with her whenever possible. As for your brother, he's a grown man who has to live with his decision. Unfortunately, just the way it is and the less you involve yourself the better. Don't change who you are as a person because of her jealousy issues, but act like you've been read your Miranda rights when you're talking with her. Anything you say can and will be used against you. My sill was the same way for a long time. I just had superficial conversations with her, no new topics. It's worked fine. She relaxed after several years. Stop trying to mend a non-existent relationship. Curious why you chalk it up to jealousy. Do you have things she wants or just curious because jealousy often gets blamed when that emotion has nothing to do with the actual conflict. Then it makes it harder to work five rough the conflict because both sides are not open to a resolution. If she escalates this, I would simply say, I put you on an information diet since you twisted my words last time and I will continue to keep my business my own until you learn how to keep me out of yours. Your brother is in the early stages of what will one day be a very messy divorce. Some folk won't like you and that's perfectly fine. She sounds toxic, keep her at arm's length. I have a cousin like this. We had enough of her so we just don't talk to her. And she still does show up at family events. We are just polite and bypass her for the most part. She was constantly lying and twisting our words and throwing us under the bus. So, again, we just basically stopped talking to her. I blocked her on everything. I know my brother did too. Anyway, point is, this isn't your problem necessarily. Yes, she's your family now. But you don't have to be friends with her. That's not a requirement. She is your brother's wife, and it's his problem to deal with. I would be more worried for the brother, he's marrying a monster and needs help first. I would distance myself from her, but I would also set some clear boundaries to her. If she is jealous of you now, she is going to be jealous of your baby as well. Don't let her intimidate you with her lies and manipulation tactics. My brother's wife is the same. For years I tiptoed around her and tried to go above and beyond to make her feel close but she is insanely jealous by nature. Now they're separated and I've heard some of what he had shoved under the carpet about her behavior. I recently told him in no uncertain terms that, if he chooses to get back together with her, I will not be close to her. She is not a good person. I will always love him because he is my brother but I will no longer go out of my way to please, consider her. You both sound a little overly dramatic to be honest. Waddling, to get gluten-free cookies. Bit dramatic much? Upset over baby's gender? All the drama is always about you and your pregnancy. Are you sure you are not playing a little part in kicking up this random drama? Hunting through Reddit for drama on you sill. You have a lot of spare time to devote to this. Are you sure you don't just like all the attention and pretending to be on the high horse? At least be upfront about it with yourself. Most people would let this little stuff roll of their backs and they wouldn't dig in Reddit for family drama. You are wholeheartedly feeding the negativity wolf, and it's devouring your positivity wolf. I am sorry that your brother married her, but that is his decision. You don't need to absorb the toxicity from this woman or change your behavior in any way. Keep behaving as you would have.
she is probably looking for an excuse to be toxic, and any change toward her will allow her to drag you into something. Keep being respectful tful because she us your sill don't engage her drama. And congrats on this new chapter in your life. Should I be distancing myself from the sill? Yes. So here's the deal. You don't get to pick or choose everyone that is related to you, especially those that are via marriage. People generally want to be close to family. But I'm here to tell you that you do not. You've made an effort. You don't have to continue. You have your own immediate family to focus on and you should do just that. Do the easy things to engage, but don't go out of your way. If someone cops an attitude or acts funky, just step away. Either things will work out without doing anything, the family member coming to their senses or it just won't. I've personally done this and it's amazing how people that really want to be in your life will straighten up. Good luck with your pregnancy. Your sill is trouble and troubled. Keep her at a distance but perhaps tell her and your brother to their faces why. And given we live in the era of electronics, record it. Yes, distance yourself. You do not need the stress. Not worth the stress. Let them handle it. Enjoy your life. Actually, I don't know why your brother married her. He knew what she was and how badly she could behave and married her anyway. Moving on. Don't spend too much time thinking about this chick. She's an elephant eating peanuts. This is who she is. You can't react to her because drama is what she wants. Keep your distance. Smile and avoid at all times. You can't fix his problem for him. I know you care and want him happy but this is on him to sort out. Now if he asks you for advice, you can give if you want to. Most importantly, let him know you love him and care about his well-being. But do not sacrifice your happiness and mental state for how he chooses to live. You come first. I would put a cordial distance to the both of them. Anything he hears he'll tell her and she'll twist the situation to the point of unrecognizable. Information diet to need to know basis. And let her be his issue. Like everyone else here is saying, yes, definitely distance yourself from her. She is not worth any of your mental space or emotional energy. When you see her, just say hi and smile, and then go talk to other people. Jealousy. Even I don't know how to handle it. At the most I distance myself. But it is not possible always. Don't even worry about not farting in the same room as this creep. She's got some issues and none of them are your fault. Sail merrily through life and be sure not to give any more fucks about how she does things unless it starts getting dangerous or you even get the slightest hints that it might get dangerous. Your brother enables his partner to trash talk. I would want space from both of them. Ain't nothing wrong with healthy boundaries op. Best wishes. Also pregnant and concur you don't need the stress. Her issues are hers and hers alone. Your brother can receive your support and you can maintain a bond with him. Don't do anything extra for this woman, in fact at this time in your life, she should be the one trying to do extra for you. Like what everyone else is saying, you should distance yourself from her. Stop inviting her over and going out of your way for her. She's already decided she doesn't like you, so these things won't win her over, just give her irrational jealousy more fuel. In a perfect world your brother would have married someone great that could have become like a best friend, sister. But that hasn't happened. She's not your friend and likely never will be. Just be polite and such when you see her at family functions, but that's it. Gar. I'm going through something similar right now. Dot not fun. Don't stress yourself out or feel bad if you need to distance yourself. Prioritize your own mental health. It's so easy to start feeling responsibility for other people's feelings, but it's not your responsibility. I've had to learn this lately, and it's been hard to rewire my brain to not feel obligated to let my sill and in-laws step on me and disrespect boundaries. I rarely invite her and I thought to myself I'm grown, 27f, and will be having my own family soon and my brother is my family too so I should forge a strong bond with her. This person has already indicated that for whatever reason they don't want to be friends or friends, pushing yourself to be friendly with someone who has already proven to be a complete snake is not a great idea. It seems like this person likes to be a pot stirrer and expects unreasonable things from you. Yes, distance yourself and focus on yourself. My SILs are Sabrina, Trina, Tina, Sheena, Martha, Luella, Megan and Elise. I never had a sister before. Some are okay, some are awesome, some I keep at arm's length. No matter how hard you try your feelings of warmth and sincerity will never be returned. She's just a jealous, spiteful woman. Just step away. She isn't your problem. Keep your relationship with your brother, enjoy your time with your little one as they arrive, and keep that positive headspace. 
Jealous people are draining. If you talk to her, somehow get through whatever thing she's jealous of now, it's going to just come back as something else that she's jealous of in a few days, weeks, months, years, etc. The cycle never ends, so just don't give her space in your head. At some point, your brother will need to shut it down or he's just going to stop caring about it. Both of these things are fine. What won't be fine is if he tries to make it your problem, which doesn't seem to be something that he wants to do anyway, so you should be good there. Be polite but keep distance with Sil. Always treat your brother like he's your brother but accept that there are added challenges to your relationship because of the wife. Try to not add fuel to fire by trying to fix anything. He has to figure it out himself. I am in a similar situation and trust me, there's not much you can do. Just be a supportive sister for him whenever he might need you. I know it sucks. Some people are just beyond help but it's not up to us to decide whether to have them in our lives or not. I'm so jealous of my younger and older friends that are doing well. I come from an impoverished background, and combined with some poor career choices, it has put me in a career situation that is not ideal for me. You know what I do with my jealousy. I use it as the fuel to energize myself to study and retool myself to follow a different, more secure path. This lady is a grown woman being enabled by someone. Her situation is what is killing her, not you. She's the only one that can make the change, but she has to recognize what the reality of the situation is. As for you, guess what? Not your job. Focus on your awesome life you only get one and it's not long enough time to let shitty people take over. A few things to realize, she's never going to be happy, she's never going to be happy for you, she's never not going to be jealous, and she's never going to stop taking it out on you. Think about that for a minute. Now, do you want this person in your life? Do you want to bring your baby around this person? I think you know the answer. Sounds like he knew what he was signing up for, so you'll just have to let him deal with her. Being civil is all that is required. You don't have to be friends with her, extend olive branches etc. It seems she doesn't want or care about that. Just smile and nod, live your life and let her live hers. The dark triad personality like this will alienate their partner from their family and other friends to control them. This is what she's doing. She has to make sure that he has no allies that he can talk to about the horrible stuff she does so she can gaslight him. It's too bad he married her, he needs to get in therapy immediately. It's going to be a dark road for him. A good therapist will help him protect himself.